place to be driving around in a, in a crossover. Just yeah. so you could navigate through any kind well, of hazards. Just to be in a nice car right now, especially a brand new one, a 2018 Buick Enclave. Good morning, Ed. Well, good morning, Lauren and Dan. Uh, yeah, we have a new Buick Enclave here. It's hard to believe the last time we brought an Enclave over when it was new was 2007. It's 2008 model, so it's been a decade. And it was one of the consistent sellers, even in year 8, 9, and 10. Uh, one friend of mine that has a Buick GMC store said that every year that goes by, the crossovers are taking more and more of the market from what used to be Yukon and Yukon XL sales. Well, there's probably a good reason why. Let's start off. 3.6 liter V6 engine, 310 horsepower. But that's not a great deal more than what the last one came out with. I think a figure somewhere around 288 horsepower before. But the engine is smooth. Going over to the interior, it's been updated. Again, I didn't have any fault with the last Buick Enclave. I thought it was the most stylish of these vehicles from GM, including the Chevy Traverse and all that. Had a great ride to it, but I've always said it, it was the one that felt a little bit more like a minivan. It was softer going down the road. Certainly not necessarily the harshness of the full-size SUVs that run on truck frames. Reasonable space in the back, and I put one of the seats down to show you how easy it is to flip it up and get into the third row here because this is what the Buick did better than any other of the mid-sized crossovers like this. And if we go over to the back, I've left one of the seats up to see you still have a reasonable amount of space here, and then you have controls to put the seats up and down at your fingertip, which is extremely nice. So, I like the last Enclave. I've read reviews on this one, and they actually are raving about this vehicle. But I'd like to say it's just a finesse difference to me moving from the last Enclave to this one, because the last one was that good. I did have one bit of a problem, and that was the automatic transmission. I would really have liked it to have been a bit more precise. It tends to move around or lag changing gears, may just be a function of this car and having so many different drivers in it because they tend to set to the driver nowadays. Base price is $39.9. This one is the Avenir at the top of the line and it's barely over $50,000. I think it's $50,170. And while that sounds like a lot of money in the luxury crossover market, this Buick is actually one of the bigger bargains in it. The last one went 10 years. We'll see what this one does. The improvements are small, but they are noticed. With that, you all have a good weekend and a good Christmas. You too. Merry Christmas, Ed. You can listen to Ed on 570 KLAF tomorrow. His car column is always in Saturday's Fort Worth Star-Telegram.